saints. Praise the, Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Truly, we thank God for being here today. Thank God for this beautiful weather that God has blessed us with today. As we begin our service, I ask that each and every one that we may stand as we go for the Lord in a word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, I thank you for being with us today, for watching over each and every one of us. And Lord, I ask and pray that you open our hearts, minds, and ears, that we receive the word of God and not only be hearers, but be doers of your word as well. Remember those that are sheltering in place, dear Heavenly Father, those that may be ill, that you may touch their bodies and raise them up. Remember each and every member of our assembly, dear Heavenly Father. Lord, we thank you for your death, burial, and resurrection. And God, truly give you the glory and the praise in the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. 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 So truly, we thank God for our service today, being Pentecostal Sunday, Pentecost. Truly, I want to thank God that it's a blessed, blessed. You know, sometimes we have to think about that, what God did for each and every one of us. How he shed his precious blood on Calvary so that we might be free from sin. In our service today, we're going to start with a poem by our very own Deacon Washington. After which, we will have a song selection by Minister Cooper, a song selection by First Lady Kathy Anderson, and then the word from the man of God of the hour, our very own pastor, James Anderson. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord, saints. Praise the Lord. I used to have to give credit for the, the author of a poem, but I couldn't find the author's name, but it was such a good poem. I'll read it anyway. The poem is entitled, Holy Spirit. And it says, Holy Spirit, love divine, fill this longing heart of mine. Pour your grace upon my head. Let my arid soul be fed. Amen. With living waters, pure and clear, Open my mind that I might hear the rushing wind or the still, small voice. Pursue me until I have no choice. Amen. Mm -hmm. But to fall upon my knees in awe with breathless wonders as you pour life-giving love into every part of my being. Till my heart with every beat sings out with praise and hands in joyous rapture raise. To God above with wordless prayer, no earthly treasure can compare. Amen. With the gift that the Spirit gives, I know that my Redeemer lives. Hallelujah. Amen. Because he lives, I can face tomorrow. Because he lives, all fear is gone. Because I know he owes my future. My life is worth living. 
Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Just thank and praise God to see another Pentecost Sunday. Amen. Amen. I'm here and I'm so excited to praise the Lord today, to give him praise, to give him honor, to give him glory, for he is worthy to be praised. He is high and lifted up, and he's worthy to be praised. Living, he loved me. Dying, he saved me. Buried, he carried my sins all away.
are you that are here today? Yes, Lord. Amen. Thank today you. is Thank the day you. of Pentecost. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory, glory. Pentecost. Yes, Lord. The birth of the church. Yes, Lord. The day that the Holy Ghost came. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so I'm going to read on the book of Acts, uh, chapter 3. Thank you, Jesus. Glory, glory. Thank you, Jesus. I'm going to read verses 1 through 8, chapter 2. And it reads, And when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all with one accord in one place. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven as a Russian mighty wind, and it filled all the house where they were sitting. Mm. And there appeared unto them cloven tongues like as a fire, mm. and it set up on each of them, and they were all filled with the Holy Ghost, and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. Mm -hmm. And there was dwelling at Jerusalem Jews, devout men, out of every nation under heaven. And now when this was noised abroad, the multitude came together and was confounded because every man heard them speak in his own language. And they were all amazed and marveled, saying one to another, Behold, are not all these which speak Galileans? And how hear we, every man, in our own tongue, wherein we was born. Yes, Lord. Jesus. This is the day Hallelujah. of Pentecost. Amen. Okay. Thank you, Jesus. And then Peter goes on and let us know that Joel explains what had happened. Mm -hmm. In the book of Joel, the Lord had said, I will pour out my spirit yes, Lord. unto all flesh. Thank you, Jesus. In other words, I don't mean uh, a certain nationality, but all nationalities. Yes, Lord. It don't matter what your background, whether you're black, white, brown, <coughs> whatever the color. Yes, he says all flesh. All flesh. Yeah. This is the beginning of the age of grace. Okay. It's the beginning of the church. Yes. God promised to not just to pour out his spirit unto the twelve, but it says all flesh. And Jesus many times talked about receiving the Holy Ghost. You remember when he was speaking to the woman at the well? He talked to her about the living water. Mm -hmm. And he was letting us know that God was looking for someone to worship him in spirit and in truth. John spoke about the Lord and the Holy Ghost. In the book of John, in the seventh chapter, starting at the 37th verse, it says, In the last day, that great day of the feast, Jesus stood and cried, saying, If any man thirsts, let him come to me and drink. He that believeth on me, as the scripture has said, not as your mind dictates, oh, yeah. but the Bible says, as the scripture has yes, said. Amen. Out of his belly shall flow rivers of living waters. Thank you, Jesus. But this spake he of the spirit, which they that believe on him should receive. For the Holy Ghost was not yet given. Because that Jesus was not yet glorified. Hallelujah. Thank you, Hallelujah. Thank you Jesus. 
Now see, the Spirit of God in the Old Testament moved up on individuals to do a particular service. The Holy Ghost Jesus is talking about is the promised Holy Ghost. Yes, Lord. And we know the Bible speaks about John being born with the Holy Ghost. But this is not the promised Holy Ghost. Yes, Lord. Uh, it, the, 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 what Jesus is talking about is the comforter. Mm -hmm. The one that was take his place. Yes, Lord. The Bible many times when it talk about the Holy Ghost. Okay. Sometimes it says the Spirit of God. Right. And sometimes it says the Spirit of Christ. And sometimes Jesus, when Jesus addressed it, he talks as if it was a Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. But he let you know it's not going to speak of his own. But whatever he says and whatever he do, that's what it do. Just as whatever he say and whatever he do was not of his own, but it was of the Father. Yes, yes. People many times get mixed up when you're talking about the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. And a lot of times people get mixed up is because they really don't know God. Or they really haven't received the gift of the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost is not something that you can claim. It is something that God gives you. The Holy Ghost can do for you what you can't do for yourself. Yes, Lord. It is not self-renovation. The Holy Ghost it has the capacity to, uh, to change the nature of an individual. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because it is the Spirit of God. And we also read in the book of John, if we go down to the 14th chapter, Hallelujah. Glory to God. Starting at the 15th verse, and it all... The, the rest of the chapter is talking about the promise of the Holy Ghost. Okay. He said, if you love me, keep my commandments. Mm -hmm. And I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comfort. Okay. That he might abide with you forever. Yes, Lord. Even the spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive. The reason people cannot receive the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. is that they are not willing to let go of the world. Mm -hmm. We see things going on in the world now. Yes. We see we have racial unrest. Right, right. And what would clarify that is to call it what it is. S-I-N. Right. Hallelujah. Sin. Amen. Yes, Lord. It is sin when people that are supposed to stand up for justice don't. Hallelujah. It is more aggravating when people looking on the sideline and making excuses. Excuse I'm thinking, how hard is it to do right? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But the world cannot receive the Spirit of God because it don't love God. Hallelujah. 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 It sees Him not, neither knoweth not him. But ye know him. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. For he dwell with you and he shall be in you. Hallelujah. He's telling the disciples, the one I'm talking about is with you right now. And I will come to you and I will dwell in you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. That's not the divinity of God. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I will not leave you comfortless. I will come to you yet a little while and the world sees me no more, but ye shall see me. Yes, Lord. Why? Because he says, I live, ye shall live also. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. At that day you shall know that I am in my Father and ye in me and I in you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. That ought to make you happy right there. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Lord, thank you, Jesus. He that has my commandments and keep them, Lord, he is it that have loved me. Thank you, Jesus. And he that loved me shall be loved of my Father, and I will love him and will manifest myself to him. 
Hallelujah. Amen. Don't leave me people that want to. Hey, we're going to say this prayer. Invite Jesus into your heart. And you might want Jesus in your heart, but is he going to be uh, uh, willing to dwell there? All right, now. Hallelujah. Uh, we think we got to invite God into any old place. Hallelujah. The Bible let us know our body is a temple. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And if your body is a temple, God is not going to come and dwell in any old place. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. You're going to have to be willing to let go of sin Hallelujah. and let go of this word. Hallelujah. You're going to have to get serious. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. All 120 that was in the upper room, every single one of them received the gift of the Holy Ghost. Yes, Lord. Yes. When Jesus died, when Jesus came back, he blew up on them and said, receive the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. All 120, not 119, <laughs> 120. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Then it said they received the gift of tongues. It said they received the gift of the Holy Ghost. And spoke in tongues. And the Spirit of God gave the Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That same tongue that James talked about. That a man can't tame. God used that tongue. Hallelujah. And spoke in a different language. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And then some get... Confused when it comes to tongue. Hallelujah. It reminds me, and I, I know this is not a good example, but I was looking in uh, Craigslist one time and I ran across, they had a Toro power head. Okay. I was like, what in the world? It was a power head. And I looked at the picture and I still couldn't figure it out. It looked like a motor with wheels on it. <laughs> and so I Googled it. You know how we used to do I Googled it to see what it was. You know what it was? The power head had all kinds of attachments. If you wanted a lawnmower, you attached a lawnmower. If you wanted a snowblower, you take that off, you put on a snowblower. If you want a weed whacker, you take it off, you put on all kinds of attachments. But one power head. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Right. Glory to God. So they're speaking in tongue that will edify the church. You need an interpreter. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. And that edifies the church. Yes, Lord. But there's a tongue that edifies you. That's right. yes, Lord. You don't need an interpreter. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Too many times people want, well, if you don't know what you said, what do, what do it? Because look in the Bible. It says you edify yourself. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's between you and God. Yes, Lord. It is the evidence that you have received. The Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. It's important that you know what happened to you. you Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And you don't want people telling you what happened to you. No. You don't want people telling you, Hallelujah, what 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 you have to how you have to act mm -hmm. to have the Holy Ghost. No. You want a sign, don't you? Yes, you want proof. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. That you got what you asked God for. Hallelujah. 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 And the sign is speaking in other tongues. Yes. As the Spirit give utterance. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Because we go on in the book act and we see Cornelius. And Cornelius was seeking the Lord. A good man. Hallelujah. Glory to God. But he was seeking truth. And the Lord sent uh, Peter, wasn't it? Peter. He sent Peter. Yeah. And the Bible says when Peter was speaking, Peter didn't go by himself. Jews went with Peter. Hallelujah. And they was amazed. Why was they amazed? Because they heard them speak in tongues. Hallelujah. As the Spirit gave them utterance, just like he did them yes. at the beginning. Yes. That's how they knew that they had received the Holy Ghost. Yes. That's how they knew that God is now filling Gentiles with the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus talked to the woman at the well, a Samaritan, about being filled with the Holy Ghost. He talked to Cornelius about being born again. He's talking about being filled with the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. John the Baptist said, Behold the Lamb of God uh -huh. that take away the sins of the earth. Hallelujah. And what else he said about Jesus? 
He's going to baptize with the Holy Ghost. Yes, yes. So every time a person is filled with the Holy Ghost, it's Jesus. Uh -huh. Thank you, Jesus. Baptizing you Hallelujah. with his spirit. Hallelujah. You, baptizing you with the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Zacchaeus that was waiting on Jesus. Uh -huh. And Jesus come by and you know what he said? I'm going to be at your house. Yes. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus made house calls. <laughs> I'm going to be by your house tonight. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. And it's meant not just for them, but it was for us and our children, our children's children. Yes. Yes. Those that are far off, yes. as many as the Lord should call. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. See, the Holy Ghost will do what we are not able to do. Are sad. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't misunderstand the, the difference between God's power and our power. Mm -hmm. Our power will fall short. Lord. You need the power of the Holy Ghost. He said, go and wait until Jerusalem until you receive power from on high. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. That's what he was saying. I wait until you receive the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. You see a difference in Peter, don't you? Mm -hmm. Once Peter got, he became a spokesman. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. They were willing to put their life on the line because they had received the gift of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You see, all through the book of Acts, the, uh, the mighty things that God did through them, it wasn't by their own power and strength. And today it's not by your own power and strength. When you go through your trials and tribulations, I feel sorry for you if you don't have the Holy Ghost. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Because you need the Holy Ghost yes, when you go through. Yes, Hallelujah. I thank God for the Holy Ghost going through this pandemic. Yes, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Don't have to worry about a pestilence when you got Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Here's the thing about Christ. The Holy Ghost gives you a power to live the life you should live for Christ. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. And if you live that life for Christ, you're going to die victorious. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. You hear what I say? I don't care what it looks like. I don't care if you're laying on your bed and you can't speak and you can't hardly breathe. You die with victory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's why, Paul, that's why Peter said, I mean, uh, not Peter, but that's why Paul says, well, I didn't come to you just with words, but I came with the power He's talking about the power of the Holy Ghost. Yes, Hallelujah. Living a victorious life, knowing that when you draw your last breath, you're going to be victorious. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. There's a crown laid up for us. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. The power of the Holy Ghost. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus told Nicodemus, what's born is flesh is flesh. I don't care what you do to it. It's still flesh. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. We used to uh, raise hogs. I don't care what you do to him. He's a hog. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> you can put him on the floor. You can wash him. Yeah. I don't care if you spray perfume on him, put some lipstick on him, <laughs> whatever you do to him. <laughs> what's going to happen when you turn him loose? He's going to go right back to the mud. A dog is the same way. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We had dogs. They would eat their own vomit. Yep. They would do it because they were dogs. Hmm. Jesus. The only thing can change our nature is Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. It is important. It's imperative that you have the Spirit of God. Yes, don't listen to people that say you don't need the Spirit of God. You need the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. You can't make without the Holy Ghost. Amen. And the Bible said, if you have not my spirit, you're not a mine. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So the initial, initial evidence is tongues. Yes. Hallelujah. But it also produces fruit in your life. Yes, Lord. It also gives you an ear to hear what God is saying. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. You see, go a call to remembrance. Everything I told you. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. You know we don't remember everything. Amen. Hallelujah. We remember some things, and some things we let our mind slip. 
But when the Holy Ghost comes, it's going to remind you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. The Holy Ghost remind you of some stuff. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, you know you ought not do that. You know you shouldn't do that. Holy Ghost not going to make you do anything. Amen. You have a free will. That's another gift God gave man, to have a free will. Hallelujah. Men that don't want to be free is because they don't want the responsibility. Right. Hallelujah. Thank you. No, God don't give you a responsibility. You got a responsibility. Yes, Lord. Whoever see you, you have a responsibility to whoever know you to live the kind of life God called you to live. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. No man lives to himself and no man died to himself. Yes, Lord. And God don't ask you, do you want to be an example? You're going to either be a good example or you're going to be a bad example. Amen. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. It is a responsibility every man has. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus. Thank you. The world couldn't receive him because it don't know him. Right. You know Jesus. <clears throat> Hallelujah. Well, doctrine ain't important. Yes, it is. <laughs> Hallelujah. A relationship more important, but doctrine is important. You can't be telling people there's three people and one God and all that kind of crazy stuff. <laughs> Hallelujah. You got to know that he is one Lord, there's one faith, and one baptism. Hallelujah. And there's one spirit. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. He made us and he made us in his image. Hallelujah. He made us redeemable. Thank you. Everybody have to come to the place of repentance. Hallelujah. Repentance is changing your mind. Not going with your mind, but having a change of mind, a change of heart. It is agreeing with God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. So many times you hear people saying, Well, he says, believe in my heart and I'll be saved. Believe. Look, it's not talking about believing anything. It's talking about believing the word. Hallelujah. But to believe what the apostles have said. Yes. Jesus says, believe me as the scripture has said. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. He wasn't just a good teacher, a good person. Hallelujah. You know, there's going to be a lot of good people not making it. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus said, the words I speak, it's going to judge you at the end. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Jesus. Glory to God. You might be a good person and have a bad attitude. Mm -hmm. See, the Holy Ghost take care of that attitude. Yes, Lord. It, it'll take care of that whole person. It'll heal that whole person. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus came to heal. He was anointed to preach the gospel to the poor. Hallelujah. Heal the brokenhearted. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. I thank the Lord for the Holy Ghost. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, I think the Lord had somebody had enough guts to tell me what the 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 uh, um, evidence was of receiving the Holy Ghost. Yes. Cause I was, I was going around thought I had the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you. Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory to. You. And I found out God will deal with you. Sure, God will deal with you before you get filled with the Holy Ghost. But before it's over with, you need to get the Holy Ghost. You need yes. to be filled with the gift of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Amen. And there is no reason. It is for everybody. Hallelujah. Don't think it's just for a certain group of people. Hallelujah. Don't act like it's for the righteous. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Uh-uh. You don't have to be righteous. You just got to be willing. Hallelujah. You got to be willing to have a hunger and a thirst for God. Thank you, Jesus. See, a hungry man will eat about anything. Hallelujah. And it'll be good to him. Y'all remember me telling you... Uh, my sister-in-law cooked some uh, ribs and some sauerkraut. Man, I thought that was the best meal I ever had. <laughs> I couldn't get it off my mind. I was hungry. I don't know. I don't know to today whether it was that good or I just thought it was. But I do know my wife tried cooking it, and I said, "What in the world are you cooking?" <laughs> I couldn't stand the smell of it. Hallelujah! But you had to have a hunger. And a thirst for God. Thank you, Jesus. If you don't have a hunger and thirst for God, pray. Yes, Lord. I find you can ask God anything. That is it. His will. It's not His will to any should perish, yes, but all come to repentance. Yes, Lord. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Don't be ashamed to ask God. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Ask Him for help. Yes, Thank you, Jesus. Lord, I'm, I don't love you like I ought to love you. 
Hallelujah. But I want to. Yes, Lord. I've been to that place. And if God can do it for me and you, he can do it for anybody else. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Paul met Jesus on the way to Damascus, the risen Savior. Was that enough? No, it wasn't. He said, go and find a man named Ananias. And he's going to tell you what you need to do. Now, you would have thought that would have been enough to straighten you out, right? Man, I talked to Jesus. <laughs> he struck me blind. No, that's not enough. That's not enough. Well, Lord, if you could just show me a big miracle. No, that's not going to be enough for you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If he raised somebody from the dead, you wouldn't believe it. Hallelujah. You need the Holy Ghost. Yes, Lord. You need the God's Spirit coming into your soul. Hallelujah. And then you know this is real. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Just the way the Bible said did. Amen. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Fill you with the Holy Ghost. Oh, Been running ever since. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And he kept me. Thank you, Jesus. Don't want to turn back. Amen. Come too far now. Hallelujah. To turn back now. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Because it's closer now than I first believed. Don't make sense to turn around, do it. Don't make no sense at all. Turn around. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Thank God for his spirit. Not by power, not by might, but my, my spirit, says the Lord of hosts. Thank you, Jesus. God moved upon uh, individuals in the Old Testament. He moved up on Saul when he became king. Mm -hmm. he, removed, he moved up on David when he became king. He anointed them yes, Lord. for the purpose of ruling. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. He, he anointed Elijah. Mm -hmm. He anointed Jeremiah. Yes, Hallelujah. You can see God move all through. In, in, uh, with Elijah, he caused a fire to come down from heaven. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Burnt the sacrifices. Yes, Lord. He, he uh, split the Red Sea. So the Israelites can go cross on dry land, cause the wind to blow and dry everything up. Didn't have to trump through the mud, just go cross on dry land. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Cause the rain to come. Just cloud the size of a man fist. Hallelujah. Glory to God. But in the New Testament, he's going to dwell in you. Hallelujah. He's going to be in you. It's not going to be a spirit of fear. But of what? Power and love and of a sound mind. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He said, I'm not going to leave you comfortless. See, the apostles didn't have to worry about anything with Jesus around. If a storm brewed up with Jesus around, you didn't have to worry about it. Hallelujah. All he could do is just speak to the storm. Jesus. Hallelujah. If you run short on grocery money and, and didn't have no food, you didn't have to worry about it with Jesus around. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He could speak to the uh, it's 12,000? 5,000. Hallelujah. He probably could have spent 12. <laughs> Hallelujah. And, and then had it left over. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. The power of God. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Did amazing things. Those that couldn't see, he restored their sight. Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Jesus. Those that weren't able to talk, mm. was able to talk. Hallelujah. If he couldn't hear, he was able to open their ears. Thank you, Jesus. If they were leopard, he was able to cleanse them. Hallelujah. Thank, Thank, you, Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. That same spirit. He said, I'm the same yesterday, Hallelujah. today, and forever, forevermore. If he did it then, he could do it now. Yes, Amen. If he could save 3,000, add 3,000 to the church then, guess what? He could do it now. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. But the world Lord, don't know me. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. But if you repent, hallelujah. you don't have to be uh, have everything together to receive the Holy Ghost. I thank God that's true. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> All you need is a repentant heart. Thank you, Jesus. All you have to do is be willing. Hallelujah. You can't go to the Lord and say, you know, Lord, I give away, I get rid of everything but my drinking or my smoking. No, you can't do that. You can say you you might can say I need help with it, but I'm willing to give it up. Hallelujah. And I think I can do that if you fill me with your spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And can people do that on their own? Yes, they can. Sure they can. 
But some need the Holy Ghost. I can tell you one thing. You're not going to be doing what God wants you to do without the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You might get off drugs. Hallelujah. And you might string yourself up to some extent. That was, a, that was a scripture that talks about people cleaning themselves up because of the knowledge they had of Christ. Mm -hmm. Did you know you can clean yourself up with the knowledge of Christ and still not make it? Jesus. You can. Did you know that if you had an evil spirit and you got rid of that spirit and cleaned yourself up, that spirit can come back? And you can be worse than you was before. Right. Don't turn back from the truth. It's a dangerous thing to turn back from the truth. Amen. Hallelujah. Because Jesus ain't going to come and die again. Amen. He's not going to come and hang on the cross again. He don't have a plan B. You're going to have to go by plan A. Hallelujah. Repent. Hallelujah. And be baptized. And it says, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, how, for the remission of your sin, remission came because of his death. Yes. He said, it's expedient that I go, because if I don't go, the Holy Ghost is not going to come. Hallelujah. They couldn't occupy the world at the same time. Jesus. Hallelujah. But when the Spirit came in, what the Bible said, it came in a whoosh, sound of a rushing mighty wind. Hallelujah. And closed a tongue. Yeah. And it lit up on each one of them. You know what I was doing? The, the Spirit was coming to take a boat up in the earth. Yes. The Holy Ghost is here. Yes. In the Word. Yes. And you more contagious. And you more strong than you think you is. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You got more than you think you got. Hallelujah. So he said of Solomon and Gomorrah, if I can find ten righteous. I will save the whole city. All you need, all he needed was ten righteous. Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. And he was still, you remember Lot said, I don't want to go in the mountain. What about that little place over there? <laughs> the Lord saved it because he thought that's where he was going. Then he changed his mind and decided to go up into the mountain. Your prayer is more powerful than you think. Yes. Jesus. Don't let the adversary have your children. Jesus. Pray for them. If they still alive, pray for them. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. And don't stop praying. Hallelujah. And pray for one another. Yes, Pentecost. Yes. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So go and wait. Thank you. Hallelujah. Amen. 50 days from his death. Amen. Hallelujah. That was God's doing. Hallelujah. And the Holy Ghost came. And they was in that room, one place, one accord. Look, they wasn't brave men and women. A lot of times they was high. But I tell you what, when the Holy Ghost hit them, yeah, hallelujah. hallelujah. Ah. Where you think that bold come, boldness come from? Hallelujah. Where you think that power come from? Hallelujah. hallelujah. And when they start threatening the saints of God, you think they back down? You know what they did? Had a prayer meeting. Hallelujah. <laughs> Reminded me of Hezekiah. Lord, well, look what they did. <laughs> look what they did to your son. Yeah. They took him, nailed him to the cross. Now they threatening us. Hallelujah. And what God did, refilled him. Yes, Hallelujah. He, Lord, he shook the place up. <laughs> Thank you, <too>. Hallelujah. <laughs> and when he did that, you know they got that prayer answered. Yes, Many times. They threatened them. Don't you preach in that name. Hallelujah. Say, so who are we supposed to listen to? God or man? Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Just don't let you, nobody talk you out of that. Receiving the gift of the Holy Ghost. Speaking in tongues. And here's what you got to realize. It says, as the Spirit. So that means the Spirit has to be present. The Spirit has to be working. Jesus told Nicodemus, don't you, don't you, haven't you seen uh, leaves rustle on trees? Mm -hmm. You don't see the wind, do you? No, no, no. Hallelujah. Don't get to looking at the leaves and talk about the leaves. Hey, think about the wind. Amen. That wind is a powerful thing. Yes, Lord. And so is it with the Holy Ghost. That Holy Ghost is a powerful thing. Hallelujah. 
It will dwell inside the believer. It will lead you into all truth. It will comfort you. It will give you victory. Hallelujah. Yes, and it's not so important on how you die. It's the victory you have when you die. Thank you, Jesus. Because you're going to die. Amen. People don't like to talk about it, you're going to die. Yeah. Very true. Hallelujah. And people try to control you because of the life you got here. Well, I bet they won't come over there. They were talking about some of the protesters. I bet they won't come over here and do that. I'm thinking, look, I can't even pull, get pulled over. I got to put it both my hand. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> I don't have to come where you is. Amen. I've been there. Amen. Hallelujah. But I got God. Now, I will be bitter and mean, too. Believe me. Take my word for it. I will be one bitter and mean person. If it had not been for the Lord. Yes, if it had not been for the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Because you just look, you can't put the Holy Ghost on you. Don't, don't let nobody tell you that stuff about uh, Jesus, I'll be right back. Or I'm going to put the Holy Ghost on the shelf. Sure. I, I, we've always taught it might not be that when you get back. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> uh -huh. No. Amen. Look, you ain't putting nothing on no shelf. God don't want you putting nothing on no shelf. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You're going to have to deal with it. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes. Deal with it like men and women of God. Yes, sir. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. As one evangelist always says, when the saints look like they get a little out of pocket, saints are the most high. Hallelujah. <laughs> I was amazed how that works. Saints are the most high God. All you have to do is remind it of who you are. Yes. You are in the family of God. Yes. You don't have to act like the world. Hallelujah. Because you're not part of the world. Yes, Lord. He said they can't receive him because they don't know him. Right. Hallelujah. That's the only reason that you can't receive the Holy Ghost is because you must don't want it. Because he said if you ask, he's glad to give it to you. Hallelujah. But you have to present yourself. Hallelujah. Don't have to have everything in order, but you have to be willing. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. And you got to fall in love with Jesus. Hallelujah. Man, we need to fall in love with him more and more Hallelujah. every day. The more you learn about Jesus, the more you ought to love him. Hallelujah. And the more you love him is the more you do his command. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank Glory you, to God. And he ain't talking about that old crazy kind of love. Yeah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Lord, you know, people got some crazy kind of love. Let's see. Oh, baby, I can't, I can't live without you. No, you're getting crazy now. <laughs> if I can't have you, can't nobody have you. Uh -uh. No. <laughs> he said, if you love me, you will keep my commandments. Hallelujah. And I don't care how much power you think you got casting out demons and how much work you did. Hallelujah. You got to be saved. That's Lord. Amen. Because when you stand before him, he's going to say, either go, go from me, I never knew you, or he's going to say, well done, Hallelujah. my good and my faithful servant. Yes, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hope you have a blessed Pentecost. If you haven't been filled with the Holy Ghost, I beg you, hallelujah, hallelujah, that you present your body a living sacrifice unto God. Baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of your sin. And the name of Jesus Christ is a fulfillment of Matthew 28. It says be baptized in the name of the uh, Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. One name, this is all, all kinds of names. And that name is Jesus. You can't find anywhere else in the New Testament that they baptize any other way. But in the name of Jesus Christ, there's no other name under heaven. Lord. Hallelujah. By which you could be saved. Hallelujah. With that great name, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God bless you, anyone in the area. I would love to hear from you. Amen. Hallelujah. If you're outside the area, if you're in the area and you'd like to be baptized in Jesus' name, we're at 218 35th Avenue, East Moline, Illinois. Amen. Amen. Just get in touch with us and we'll be glad. Amen. Hallelujah. To do it. So God bless you in Jesus' name.